thank you, and thank you to uh, OIS for having us back again this year. I'm Jay Cormier, founder and uh, CEO of iDaptic. So of course we know well what dry AMD looks like. Unfortunately, most people with dry AMD, all they have is a simple magnification device, thereby losing their field of vision to help improve what they have left. So what we have is a series of nonlinear transformations to effectively reconstruct the field of vision for these people with AMD. This is uh, an augmented reality device. It's fully wearable for complete mobility and it seamlessly integrates with the real world. It's an FDA class one exempt device, so no clinical trials required. So what we are, we are a software company at heart riding on augmented reality hardware we take in the images through the front-mounted camera and redisplay those in front of the eyes. Now, at the heart, these are adaptive systems, so our machine learning algorithms not only adapt to the visual deficits, but also to the habits and environment of the user. So I wanted to share our clinical trial data today. This is all stat statistically significant data. We had two main endpoints, one being visual acuity and reading applications, and the other, time, daily, time tasks of daily living. So here you can see we picked a variety of tasks, making sure we covered both near-in, intermediate, and distance tasks. And you can see the time uh, saved for these people who could uh, do the tasks, some not even able to do these tasks, uh, improved by a third to 50% of the time taken. But that only, whoops, sorry. That only tells part of the story because in many of these people, they could not even do these tasks with their normal glasses. So we saw over a 5x improvement with their normal prescription glasses and the idaptic system. From a visual acuity standpoint, we saw close to 20 letters gained on average, which makes this, I think, a good complement device even to the drugs out there today. And we're seeing letters gained up to 30 uh, in our patient trial. But most importantly, what's the usage profile look like? So we started our beta user program last year. Um, I have a few case studies here. This is, happens to be a 74-year-old programmer. He's 2200 vision. Uh, of course, he had to quit his job because he couldn't see well anymore. And we saw increased usage data, both in frequency and duration, over this trial period. And he uses these up to anywhere from three to six hours a day now. He's still in our beta program. Another uh, user, this is we call user two, is a 90 plus year old uh, World War II veteran. He uh, uses this actually in a mobility setting because he wants to go to the supermarket and his one day he told me he was kind of sick of buying the same cheese because he couldn't read the label. And so he walks around the, uh, the supermarket here, you can see his um, route, and he did this for about an hour. And halfway into it he realized that he had never pressed a button because our algorithms were taking care of all the adjustments for him. Third case study, this is a 16-year-old girl with Stargardt's disease. She's already at 2,400, so pretty badly afflicted. Uh, we were able to put these glasses on her. This was at a New Year's Eve party, actually. She was able to see her parents' expressions again, be able to sit down and watch football on TV from 15 to 20 feet away. And you can see we track the data. She even walks downstairs with these things. So again, very effective and also um, use heavily for, from these patients. So the team is a mixture of experienced technology executives, both with successful exits as well as a board of directors that are experienced early stage investors, and a very strong medical team. Um, our co-founders are retinal specialists associated with UCI. And if, even stronger, I would say, advisory board with Dr. Cooperman, who's presenting later today in the retinal field, and leaders in the low vision and optometry fields as well. So to summarize where we are, we completed our validation in 2017. Last year, we had presented our preclinical data. We started our clinical trials and also our beta user program. At this point, we've concluded our clinical trials. We have over 300 hours in our beta user program, and we're just starting our final beta push for market launch the end of this year. So with that, again, I want to thank OIS and look forward to talking at the break. Thank you.